was it like playing on a line where you guys felt every shift you went out there, you had a chance to score? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun um, for sure. And, um, you know, I think we complement each other well. I think we're all a little different. And, um, you know, Tucky just does such a good job flying around and getting pucks back and um, such a unique player. And obviously Skinny just also such a unique player. He does a little bit of everything. And, um, you know, I just tried to fill in and, and find those guys and give them room. And, um, yeah, like I said, it was fun. And um, it was nice to have a little momentum um, going into next year. What do you mean to go back to center and thrive there? I mean, we know you can play both, but I mean, to go back and do what you did must have felt good, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I think I'm comfortable in both. Obviously, I've played a lot more center in my life, so maybe a little more comfortable there. And, um, you know, I think more than anything, I just I feel comfortable in the middle of the ice. I like making plays in the middle. I, can, I feel like I can see both sides of the ice well. And, um, you know, I think maybe you're a little more involved at center at times, so we make a few good plays in a row. Maybe your confidence gets going a little bit. And um, I think that's a benefit of center, but at the same time, I think wing wing has its benefits too. Maybe uh, you got to play a little less defense, cheat a little more. So that's also fun. So um, I really enjoyed doing both this year. Was it important for you to, sh to show Kevin and Don you know, what you're capable of? It's no secret that they've been identifying the, the guys who are going to be here for a long time, right? And to have the season that you did, I would think that'd be pretty important to state your case. Yeah, I mean, I, I love it here. I've, I've obviously, this is the only place I've been. I feel uh, a big sense of loyalty to, to this place and, and the guys in this room. And, um, you know, some of these guys, we've had some, some dark days and uh, to see where we're at now, I think we're all really proud and it, it makes us all want to want to stay here and be a part of it. And, um, yeah, I think more than anything, I mean, obviously just, just to be with these teammates and, and this group is, is something extremely special and something I'd like to do for a long time. Is there a point this season where it just changed for you, where you could draw a line in the sand and say, okay, this is where everything changed? Um, no, you know, I, I don't think it's one one particular spot. I think uh, obviously it was a bit of a struggle early, and um, I, mean, I think that's been uh, well noted. And um, you know, I just keep coming to the rink and, and coming to work every day and, and working hard and. Um, you know, just try to keep persevering and, and getting through things. I know, uh, keep a good mindset and a nice positive attitude and um, keep the work ethic high and usually good things come. So, um, yeah, obviously it was nice to see things turn around. I don't I don't know one particular spot. I think at some points I, I just started picking up on a few things every game and eventually it just kept evolving. Hey, hey, what happened going? after the Nashville game? You guys looked like you were done and you started to play a more mature game. You went 9-2-1 to the finish. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think that one stung a bit. Um, you know, we're we're so young. I think uh, everyone's played one way their whole life, and um, I mean, it's worked at every level. And I know, even for myself, um, there's a bit of stubbornness with that. And um, throw 20 young guys in, I think it's a pretty stubborn bunch as a whole. So, uh, you know, I think we started to, to find ways to win and. Um, maybe in different ways, started coming from behind a little bit and um, playing a little bit uglier game. And um, you know, I think that's huge, especially because we know we know we can score and we know we're most likely going to score. So uh, to limit the chances on the other end and, and then get ours on on the offensive side, I think was was huge for us. And obviously, um, something we haven't really done before. So it was good to see. When things weren't going well, what did Don Granado? What were the challenges maybe he laid out for you? What did he say to you to maybe help you get over the hump and get to where you finished up at? Yeah, I mean, Donnie's, Donnie's great. I think uh, more than anything, he just he knows how to connect with his players. And um, I think for me, Donnie was never was never super hard on me. I think more than anything, he was, he was supportive and um, he knew I was struggling, I think. And... Uh, you know, yeah, we, we obviously is, we're watching video and things like that, but um, you know, he's he's constantly reminding you, he believes in you, and uh, he's got faith in you. And I, I think you can watch a lot of video and do things like that, but um, I think those those statements go a long way. And um, eventually, uh, things turn around. So uh, I was happy that I, I got to reward him back. You've been durable your whole career, I guess, except for last year. Just to get back to that durability this year and play every game, how how important was that? I mean, not, not even in this one game. Yeah, I mean, um, it was big after last year. I think um, maybe there was a little bit of a, a question mark about that coming in, and obviously last year was a bit of a struggle. But 
You know, I, I think I work hard. I obviously do do the best I can to, to take care of my body. It's, I mean, it's pretty much mandatory these days with, with how fast and how hard the league is. So um, I understand injuries are a part of the game at the same time, but I think uh, doing the things you can do to, to limit those and, um, yeah, just, just keep moving forward. Obviously, after last year, it was, it was nice to come back and, and play all the games. Casey, you're one of the guys who has been around long enough to have watched this team evolve. What do you think that the Sabres are capable of next season? Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a tough question right now. Obviously, uh, we know we want them to take another step. Um, what that step is right now, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But, um, you know, I, I'm proud of the way we, we played this year. I think if, if people would have would have said that we're going to be playing meaningful games near the end of the year, um, I don't think there's that many people that would believe that. Obviously, I, I think we did in the room, but um, you know, I think we made a big step, and now next year is time to make another step. Um, obviously, I I hate to kind of put tabs on things, but we want to go to the playoffs. We want to be in that. We want to be in that setting. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably the next step. I feel like the phrase "middle step" mode has been around for a while. When you find yourself either in these slumps or high trending. Do you feel those pushes coming and the consistency in your game, or is it still kind of one foot in front of the other for 82? Um, I don't know. I think, uh, I mean, I think the last few games here, it, it's felt like um, it's kind of been a good a good base of something that I can fall back on, even if I, if I was struggling to the point where um, I know what I can do and um, kind of simple, simple things down. And obviously, you know, when you're playing good and, and making plays, everything comes easy. But, um, yeah, it's definitely something that I've, I've thought about and uh, I'm going to continue to try to work on. And uh, I think especially towards the end of the year here, I, I thought I found a good base to kind of fall back on if maybe you're not feeling your best. Has Team USA asked you to play for them in the West? Uh, I, I spoke, the, um, spoke with one of the representatives this morning. Um, as of right now, I'm, I'm not going, I think, um, for me personally kind of been rehabbing all last summer to, to get back and um, I think I just want to go home I'm healthy um, happy to be healthy and go home and just have a good summer and get ready for next year have you seen uh, Rasmus Dahlin grow as a player and a leader over the last couple of years yeah I mean um, obviously uh, quite a bit I think uh, saw what he did this year I mean he's one of the best defensemen in the league this year I mean if you could even probably argue that he was the best so um we're definitely really lucky to have him. I think more than anything, as a leader, he's just he's become so much comfortable, with, so much more comfortable in the room and, and just being himself. And um, obviously, I'm I'm lucky. I've got to see that for the last five years or whatever it's been now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a huge piece of it here. Um, I don't think he gets enough credit for how good of a guy he is in the room and, and how much he cares for for all his teammates. How has Kyle helped you, especially you know when it comes to managing the ups and downs? Yeah, Oki's been great. I think uh, obviously for me, Oki's a little different. We're both from Minnesota. Obviously, both played at Minnesota, so we have that um, kind of connection. I think he can relate to me um, as well as anyone. And um, he's been great, though. I mean, I, I think every guy in the room will say I mean, he's he's obviously the rock of our team. He's the leader, and um, I think for me personally, he's just he's just always there for you. Um, I, there's nothing more you can really ask for. Um, He's always got your back, whatever you need. You can always call Loki, so um, he's a pretty special guy. You've given uh, Kevin any pump of the look at your brother in the draft? <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't. The, it might be kind of hard for my brother. He's a left-handed defenseman, so we're a little loaded here. <laughs> so uh, I haven't, but I haven't had my, my exit interview yet, so maybe I'll uh, – give him a little pump during that. <laughs> What's that week going to be like for you? I mean, you went through, you were a first rounder. I mean, just knowing that, you know, he's, he went through it once and now he's probably going to get taken by all accounts. Yeah, I think, I think in his case, it's a little different. Obviously, uh, for me, it was, I knew it was going to happen um, kind of, I guess, around the time in the draft when I was going to go. But I think for him, I mean, I'm proud of him because to get passed up on and then um, to come back and I mean most likely like you said he's, he's going to get picked um, it's impressive I think it's it's hard for a lot of people I think like I said before there's a lot of stubborn people in this industry and for someone to come back and take them and admit they were wrong is uh, it's a big vote of confidence and you know I'm, I'm proud of him he, he works hard and um, he's such a good kid and I think he's a really good player